caretaker of a, a very special instrument. Uh, anybody ever watch those old Flat and Scruggs black and white TV shows? You know what I'm talking about. All right, on there, Earl played a 1955 Martin D18, and it looked, well, there you go. It looked kind of like that. It had two great big pit guards on it. And, uh, but that's not that guitar before anybody gets excited. That's a new guitar. <laughs> but uh, I, I put those pit guards on that guitar as kind of a tribute to, to Earl's, and I got to go down to Groom Guitars a few weeks ago and, and actually try it out. It's there for sale for $100,000. So if anybody wants to get me a birthday present, I've got a birthday here in about three or four weeks. and uh, it, can, it can be early or late, either one, doesn't matter. But uh, anyway, I got to go down there and play that guitar, and it was really a, a cool experience to uh, get to play the guitar that I've watched on all those videos. And I'd never known the serial number of uh, Earl's guitar. And me being the smart young man that I am, <laughs> took a picture of the uh, serial number while I was down there, and it's 141467 was the number in that guitar. Well, two weeks later, I found this guitar and the number in it is 141470. And it is also a 1955 Martin uh, D18. And it was made, they were both started and finished on the same exact day as each other, built by the same people at Martin, and probably out of the same tree, uh, because the way they sliced the wood, it just sat in stacks, and uh, one right after another. So it's uh, really cool to be the uh, caretaker of, of this instrument, thanks to uh, Mr. Tom Eisenhower. This was his guitar, and uh, when he saw I was playing uh, that guitar, he said, you know, if you're going to do that, you need a real 55 D18. And I was like, well, if I had 55 D18 money, that'd be cool, but I don't. And uh, he, he made it possible. Uh, this was his, and uh, I, I sure enjoy getting to play it. But uh, why don't we do one of them Flat and Scruggs type things on there? 